Have you picked up any tips playing a doctor? What do you want to know? <laughs> well, presumably, that if, the, if there was an emergency in, in the room and said, is there a doctor here, you go, well, I'll have a stab at it. I've... <laughs> Occasionally, I get to do an operation and I just love to glove up. Go, I've got scrubs at home. I... <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Mrs. Clunes. So that was out loud, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, let's get on with the show. All of tonight's guests have brought in a favourite fact they love, but who's his best? It's time for round one, Fact Off. <laughs> Jimmy, what is your fact? OK, here you go. We think we are more attractive than we actually are. Well, well, you say we, do you mean you? <laughs> <laughs> everyone sort of rates themselves a little bit higher. They've, they've done experiments on it, and everyone sort of seems predisposed towards saying they're, they're slightly better looking than they actually are. So you're saying that if you were, for example, to give yourself a mark out of ten, what you think you are, people would probably rate you a little bit lower. I think that's the, that's the fact, yeah. What would you give yourself, Jimmy, out of ten? Out of ten? Yeah. I mean, what, without, with no showbiz? Because showbiz, you go up three points. Right. <laughs> you mean without the, without the varnish? I'm a comfortable seven, once people know, <laughs> hang on, he's on the telly. But I think people do think that, they're, they sort of think that they're, I think they're type of person as well, so they'll see someone that looks a bit like them and think, oh, they're nice. Like, who would play me in the film of their lives? Yeah. No one ever goes, oh, I'd be played by Elton John. You'd be like, I'd be played by, you know, a model or something like that. No one ever goes... Elton John would actually do you very well, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but people that are... So people sort of see someone that looks a bit like them and think, oh, they're, they're nice. So, for example, I would look at uh, Roger Federer and think, he's all right. Because he, he looks a bit like me. He does look a bit like you. Like a little bit like me. Well, I think we've got, st we've got stills, yeah. So that's Roger, that's Roger Federer. Oh, you're much better looking than Roger He's Federer. like the movie version of yeah, you, isn't he? Yeah, you yeah. That's, if, Jimmy Carr, if Jimmy Carr was a soap, you'd get the part. If it was a movie, he'd get the part. He looks like a movie. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, I could... <laughs> <laughs> For Martin, obviously. This is... Thank you. I wouldn't go out if I was as ugly as journalists say I am. Do you get in grief off the journalists? I played Mark Antony in Julius Caesar, and uh, somebody in City Limits said, Martin Clunes is physically and spiritually repulsive as Mark Antony. <laughs> but uh, it was an acting choice. It was the way I was playing it. Um, <laughs> So you can't judge someone from a photograph because I would take in someone's whole essence. Actually, what makes someone beautiful is knowing them, friendship, love, you know... Excuse me, do I get a look in? Um, <laughs> being on telly... Uh... I actually, talking of uh, reviews and features, I once got the biggest backhanded compliment I've ever had in a review. It said his gags are as sharp as his ferret face features. <laughs> Bit much, isn't it? That's good, isn't it? Well, I, I wasn't happy because I, I thought well, that means I'm not funny because I don't have ferret face features. Oh, no, no, you don't. Interrupt whenever you're ready, chat. Yeah. 